So, who wants to talk about hops? Let's do it. All right, so today, my first homebrew Wednesday. Uh, got my stout. It's been on the counter for a few minutes because of my filming, so it's head's gone away a little bit, but very nice. I wanted to talk about hops today, and nothing specific other than how many of you have like $200 worth of hops in your freezer? I guarantee I'm not the only one. You buy hops, you do bulk buys with your homebrew club or whatever, you get deals online, and you just never have time to use them. I thought I would take a look and see what we've got. That's all hops. Let's take a look. All right, folks. So let's just, let's just see what we've got here. All right, so, what does that say? Saz, Simcoe. I'm not going to bother with these little itty-bitty bags. Let's see. Some Cascade. Mmm, one of my favorites. Some Chinook. Some, what is this one? Fuggles. Can't go without Fuggles. What is this one? Probably could have done this smarter. Centennial. So that you people don't get a friggin' headache. So, some Hallertau. Citra. Hallertau all over the floor. Let's see. What else? The Mosaic. Some Amarillo. Now, I'm sure you're noticing the dates on some of these things. Cashmere. Simcoe. 2013. Oh, my God. More Simcoe. Uh, you'll notice the majority of these bags are sealed. Triple Pearl. This one's open because it's been used. On the floor again. Well, that's helpful. More size, can never have too much size. Some Northern Brewer. Oh, some Galaxy. Oh, so good. <gasps> some Citra. Oh my god, so good. Some Spout. Never used that one yet. Tetnang, can never have too much Tetnang. Some more. Oh, no. Atanum. Never used that one. Hardly any recipes. Columbus. Let's see, more Fuggles, more Amarillo, Saz inside a Styrian Golding bag, that's really helpful. Some Cascade from 2013, some Northern Brewer, some Willamette, some Roke. I don't even know what I my own spelling or can't read my own. Okay, that's chocolate. That's not supposed to be there. Let's see. Some Goldings. Some more Citra. I think this is Waimea. Yeah. Let's see. What else is in here? Nelson Sauvain. Amarillo. All right, so my my phone just died on me there. Okay, so this last one was Northern Brewer. And then there's a big bag here of something else. Um, all right, so half of my bags fell on the floor. All right, so the goal was not to just show off, but was to discuss a little something uh, regarding hops. Let's just get back to me in a second. All right, back to me, because I know that that's what you were waiting to see, is me, not the hops. So the reason I was going through that exercise is 
Uh, like everybody else, you go through periods where you don't brew quite as much and you end up with a bunch of hops. And then maybe you get a good deal, you buy some more and so on and so forth. And you end up with a ton of hops. And I ended up with a bunch of hops that were a year old. Wasn't so sure if I should use them because you hear all these horror stories about hops not tasting good after a while. And so I bought new ones. And so the older ones kept getting older and older and older and rinse and repeat. We are where we are now. I took a chance uh, earlier last year and I used some like two year old hops and I just did an APA. And some of the advice I got online was to just simply add 10% uh, uh, more hops given their age. And I did that and it turned out perfectly fine. So what I resolved this year was that I wasn't going to buy any more hops and I was going to go through the existing collection that I have here and clear that out because that freezer is actually packed. That's a full size refrigerator. Um, and there's a little bit of research out there about this type of thing. If you go to, a, I think it's a Zimergy, if that's even how you pronounce it. Uh, they have a number of uh, tests and research that they've done on old hops versus new hops. Uh, and as far as I recall, they came up with pretty much the same uh, answer that I did, which is that for the most part, you can get away with it uh, if you throw an additional uh, like 10% in there from what your recipe asks for. So there you go. Uh, that's all I wanted to talk about was just having way too many hops. Look, can you have too many hops? I really don't think you can, but I've got too many hops. So do me a favor, subscribe, use that little button below. Give me a like if you're digging what I'm doing here and uh, maybe leave me a comment below. Tell me what you think about, you know, using old hops, whether you're worried or not, just how much you have. Because I'm pretty sure I've got like two or three hundred dollars worth of hops there, which is insane. Because, you know, we're all doing this to save money, right? Yeah. So, there you go. Happy Homebrew Wednesday, and I will see you soon.